new iPhone experiences, video production training, and emojis in your LinkedIn profile? This is Mac Voices. Mac Voices is sponsored by Upstart, fair and fast personal loans. Go to upstart.com slash macvoices and find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments. Welcome to Mac Voices. This is the talk of the Apple community, and I'm Chuck Joyner. Folks, it's Tuesday night. It's Mac Voices Live. We are live on YouTube at Mac Voices, excuse me, at youtube.com slash Mac Voices TV. We'd love to have you join us over there in the chat room. If you're there, great. If not, um, I hope to, we hope to see you soon. And if you're seeing this after the fact, you can join us next Tuesday, 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern, whatever time it is, wherever you are. And we will be here just waiting for you. Okay, maybe not just waiting for you, but you know how it goes. Uh, a couple of things on the roster tonight. Uh, we're going to talk about some of the new Apple hardware that some of us received and what our initial reactions are to it. Got a couple other things on the agenda. First, though, we're going to run around the table and see who all's here. So, first up, um, as a kind of a surprise, uh, getting here early, Brittany Smith. Brittany, welcome. It's great to see you. You were first in tonight. Hi, Chuck. I'm actually not normally late, but this is, you know, voluntary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know it's not. I know. Listen, you're welcome anytime. And I know that this sometimes overlaps with other things on your schedule. So it does. This week was clear, though. Good. We love having you whenever we can get you. <laughs> Thanks. Next up, fresh off uh, his his very busy weekend at Mac Stock, Mr. David Ginsburg. David, good to see you. Good to see you as well. Yeah, it was a very busy, busy weekend, and I was also hanging out with Guy Searle. So there, there's, there was two things there that uh, kept, kept me uh, pretty busy. So but it's good, which, you know, both. Which one, which one was more stressful, David? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> David, David pleads the fifth on that one. I'll plead the fifth. No, guy was fine. Oh, yeah. Fun. Oh, yeah. I'm, I miss being with you guys. It, uh, I know it looked like yeah. a lot of fun, but. You and and you, we got to, you got to join us for, for the, uh, the little picnic for at least a few minutes. That was great. Yeah, that was good. Really appreciated that. Really appreciated yeah. that. Next up, I have a question for our next guest. Mr. Jay Miller is here. Jay, good to have you. I'm happy to be here. So I have a question for you, Jay. Okay. Why is there an avocado in your LinkedIn profile? Um, if I told you, I'd have to kill you. Okay. Well, then that solves that. The, the, the real answer is it's a technique that I learned when you get a lot of messages from robots and you get a lot of messages from people, the robots tend to not filter out the emoji. So when you get, Hey, avocado, and you're like, oh, well, I know what this is. Then it goes in the trash. Okay. All right. Uh, well, we have our first tip of the night right there. <laughs> I just thought that an avocado was an interesting choice, but it it's a I'm a developer advocate. So advocate avocado. Uh, uh okay. <laughs> it's a common thing. I, I didn't make that up. Okay. All right. Well, if you say so, if you say so. Um beside him, at least on my screen, Mr. Jeff Gamut. Jeff, it's good to have you. It's great to be here. And Brittany said this is voluntary. Is that right? <laughs> I, I'm out of here. But, <laughs> oh, good. Thank you very much, Jeff. Uh, no, it's as always, it's awesome to be here. Oh, uh, it's good to have you. Good to have you. Beside him on my screen, Mr. Andrew Orr is here. Not frowning yet. Hey, not yet. Uh, it is good to be here. I'm looking forward to talking about Apple devices because on TDO today, we all we talked about was email. So I hope we don't talk more about that. I there's a, well, yeah. I isn't I that the only a, topic tonight? Yeah. <laughs> uh, there are just few Andrew, things right? I would enjoy uh, less than talking about email. So. <laughs> Well, Jess did uh, say this was voluntary, so. And and I was, uh, for those of you who don't understand, um, there was a little thing in our Mac Voices Slack this week about how Andrew is is sometimes frowning. 
<laughs> um, so that's that's what that comment was about. And I will use that as an opportunity just to mention, you know, the Mac Voices Slack, that if you would like to be part of the Mac Voices Slack, uh, you need to be a Patreon supporter at the silver, gold, or platinum levels, and you get automatic access to the Slack where you can hang out with the, the live crew here. You hang out with all the other uh, patrons at that level, and you just never know what discussions are going to come up in the Mac Voices Slack. So uh, macvoices.com, excuse me, patreon.com slash macvoices. There you go. I'm trying to put my URL on everything tonight. Last but not least, uh, arriving just a little late, uh, but I'm glad he's here because he made it in before the uh, introductions ended, Mr. Jim Ray. Jim, Hi great to have you. Good to have you. Do I look different? <laughs> you look like you, your, you your look camera angle beautiful, might be different. Which you means, no, you don't look different. Different camera? I No, I got the Plexicam. Oh. oh okay. All right. So I'm not really quite used to it, but it's kind of weird having this camera like in my face, but it, I think it is a better angle. Yeah, I, I, I think so too. It, you have a green screen behind you, don't you? Yes. Yeah, there's a little corner down down in your one corner. That oh, we're, we're I can't it. see it. It's behind the plexi gland. Oh, it, Fle- it's flapping around. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, it's it. the green screen. There you go. There you go. Okay. The, the green so, screen was like just barely... Big enough, so yeah. So, so, so it, it wasn't just the ocean encroaching on your your location. That's good. <laughs> right. Okay, that's good. That's good. Um, well, I wanted to bring up just one quick thing that may or may not apply to anybody here or anybody out there, but I thought it was important. Um, of course, NAB scheduled for, I guess, week after next is canceled, but post production world has decided to take their programs online. And so you'll be able to enjoy those programs um, from some really amazing presenters. Uh, But the best part is you'll be able to do it free. So if you've often wondered what goes on in post-production world, or if you have an interest in post-production, it's ppp-conference.com is where you go to register. You do need to register for it. And there there are a number of slots right now that I think they're still working out. But that's not unusual for post-production world. They're always adding stuff at the last minute. Um, but it is definitely worth your time if you're into it. And I'm telling you, there's some really some great presenters there. And I'm not even going to try to name them because I'll uh, uh, the ones some of my favorites because I'll leave somebody out. I do not want to do that. Um, so by all means, please check out post-production world and sign up for free. This is this is professional level training you would pay hundreds of dollars to do this in Vegas if you were there um, and you can get it for free. So oh, again, what was the URL? PPP hyphen conference, excuse me, PPW hyphen conference.com. So, and you can see the schedule there. You can see what, what times, but it starts Saturday, October 9th and runs through Wednesday, October 13th. Um, and they did they did mention on the website too that they're going to be some, I guess some of the uh, sessions maybe replayed or represented or whatever um, for international time zones. Uh, so it's it typically goes from about 10 a.m. Um, let's see, 10 a.m. West Coast time to about no, excuse me, I don't know. Look at the look at the site. I'm confusing myself um, trying to do the time zone thing. Okay, so some. And we've just had a, a request to post the link. All right, so you got it. I will post it. As soon as I can find the right place on my screen. Okay, so there it is in one chat room. There it is in the other chat room. So there you go. Sign up. You will enjoy it, believe me. And you will get a lot out of it, believe me. And if you want to know who my favorite presenters are, contact me after the show, and I'll be happy to point you to the ones that I plan to attend. <coughs> It looks like it's free if you for live, but if you want to watch a replay, it's two fifty. Yeah, which makes sense. You know, I mean they they have to they have to fund this somehow because yeah. they're obviously losing a, a fair amount of money. But you know, live is always best because then I, I I can't say this for sure, but I would think that probably some of the speakers will be there um, during the if, well if they're recording. See, that's the thing we're not quite sure of, of the details. So are they going to be presenting live and answering questions live? Or are they going to record their sessions and then be in a chat somewhere answering questions? 
we just don't know um, because this this just happened this week. But anyway, you take it. It's it's really 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 good stuff. So that out of the way, um, I the the main topic tonight is the new Apple hardware that would would could should have arrived uh, last Friday, and some of us have had the weekend to spend playing with it. Actually, a little more than a weekend. Um, and so we're here to say, you know, what we did with it, how we liked it, what accessories we might or might not have purchased for it. Um, so, you know, I'm just going to let you guys run with it. And, and Brittany, I will start with you because I know we were talking just a little bit pre-show about your phone. Um, and I have a pretty good idea of what you got. What? Somebody might've guessed that if there was an iPhone mini that I would purchase it. Oh, yes. the mini. Oh. <laughs> Wait, you yeah. got the mini? <laughs> I know, it's so shocking. It doesn't look that different from the old one. <laughs> no. <laughs> it looks brighter. Um, they didn't have as many interesting colors for the regular iPhone, the not pro ones this year. So still blue is the more interesting one. So I kind of wish I got in green last year, but I didn't. Um, so yeah, I have, I have these, um, but it's not set up because Verizon didn't think that it needed to do the automatic thing. And so, yeah, and yeah. I've been really busy. So I, I, I use it as a live stream tool today and then I'm going to call Verizon and sit on hold again at some point until they mm. swap it. <laughs> so, so you, your old phone services live on the old phone. It just hasn't transferred over to the new phone. Yeah. Okay. So it's on the old one and not on the new one. Okay. Now, I can't really tell, Brittany. Are you? Do you have cases on those, or are they just are they no, raw these, right now? I took it off so I could show you. Oh, okay. Good. All yeah. right. Well, they look nice. Um, did you get a case, or what, what? Did you buy any accessories for it? No, I need to buy a case. That's an important thing. I was more concerned with it not having signal. So <laughs> it was. But yes, I, I should get a case for it. My old one, one of them kind of fits it. It's not great, but it's uh, if it's going to be over a rough surface, it will be okay for right now. Okay. But it's how is it that we're in the year twenty twenty one, and Verizon can't reliably move you from one phone to another? Yeah, I, it was supposed to do a thing, and then it, it didn't. It didn't do the thing. So, I don't know. I already was on hold for a while, and then gave up and hung up the phone and had to go do something else. So, my guess is that a lot of other people were on the phone telling Verizon the thing. It didn't do the thing. It didn't do the thing. They were being just exactly that articulate. I, I'm sure that's exactly what they're saying. <laughs> Upstart is supporting today's edition of Mac Voices. Fair and fast personal loans. Go to upstart.com slash Mac Voices and find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments. If you're carrying a credit card balance month after month, it can feel like you're in a never-ending cycle of debt with no end in sight. How much time would you invest to get out from under that cycle? A day? A couple of hours? How about five minutes? That's how long it will take you to get a smarter rate from Upstart. A loan from $1,000 to $50,000 can be yours in as little as one business day. How is that possible? Because Upstart is all online. Because Upstart looks beyond your credit score and considers your income and current employment and provides you with a smarter rate. Whether it's credit card debt, other high interest debt, or funding personal expenses, Upstart is where you can go to get one fixed monthly payment with a clear payoff date. Find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com slash macvoices. That's upstart.com slash macvoices. Don't forget to use my URL to let them know I sent you. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information provided in your loan application. Go to upstart.com slash macvoices right now and get out from under your cycle of debt. Thanks to Upstart for their support of Mac Voices. So, so, yeah, I mean, I, I don't, I absolutely do not mean to bash anyone. I'm asking a question, but is, isn't this kind of a thing with Verizon? 
that do I or am I making that up that Verizon has had trouble migrating during iPhone transitions? I don't remember it being an issue last year, but I can't I just can't remember a lot of last year in some weird ways. Um, but huh. I in the past, I I would swap sims a lot of the time. And so I wouldn't have to worry about it um, because, you know, it gets them out of charging you. But I had I know I had to go with a automatic thing last year, but I remember it working better than this. Um, I, I had to do it last year because it was 5G. You couldn't swap sims. So. I don't know. Okay. Who's uh, who's next? Hey, I can start. I got David. The, of course, 13 Pro Max, like well, like I do every year at the Max. It's uh, pretty nice. I'm I'm happy. I'm, I did put the two together and did a comparison. Yeah, there's not much difference as far as the way it looks. Um, but uh, impressed with the performance. I, uh, the, the, I definitely know the 120, notice the 120 hertz uh, when you're scrolling through uh, pages. And I think it, uh, that and I did test out the, uh, the, the, the cinematic uh, mode uh, that did post a, a video of my, me and guy at, the, at our max stock uh, at dinner. And uh, I just turned my head and he focused right behind me. So it was, uh, it was pretty cool. Um, but uh, first impressions, I, I mean, I, I I mean, like I said, the the you notice the refresh rate, and you definitely notice that the screen's got a lot the more uh, uh, it's, it's, it is it's a little bit brighter. Um, performance is, seems pretty good too. Um, there are there are a few bugs in iOS 15 related to the Apple iPhone 13. Notably, the uh, no, I'm not able to open my uh, phone when I have a mask on with my watch because there's a bug, and uh, that's not going to be fixed until 15.1. Um, but well, I can live with it. Uh, so I'm not going back on beta until uh, I'm not going to get that brave, uh, and uh, so we'll wait until uh, wait till that that comes out. But uh, overall, yeah, you know, decent. Uh, um, I did have a bit of a fiasco getting it, as I mentioned to you, Chuck, uh, trying to get uh, get the, my uh, iPhone. The UPS driver decided to put a sticker on my door and not to uh, knock on the door, so I didn't get it. So I had to go to the UPS depot and wait for an hour and watch. 25 other people do the same thing, have to pick up their iPhones because they weren't home. Um, so it seems like it was the thing uh, with, with, so, with UPS. Dave, you were actually home though, weren't you? I was home. That's what bothers me. Okay. More. <laughs> I, I, I wanted the clarification because I have heard so many people complaining yeah. about uh, UPS and FedEx over this yeah. past year for uh, product deliveries where uh, they're home. And the driver just does the the note saying that no one was there and they couldn't deliver and they don't even try. Right. Exactly. And uh, and I think that's absolutely awful. And I'm and I'm guessing that there's so much pressure being put on the drivers by uh, by their yeah. bosses that they're just lying and saying people aren't home so that they can hit their deadline times, which Very is possible. awful if that's the case. It is. It's very possible. But the funny thing is, all the clerks that were in the in the UPS depot when I I actually went had went you know had waited for the driver to arrive at the depot, and uh, every person there asked, "Oh, you have an Apple product? You have an Apple product?" So it's like they knew that that why the place was packed with people because. But there was a couple they turned away. Oh, we couldn't we couldn't find it. Uh, uh, you'll have to come back tomorrow. I, I said, oh, God, I, I was right behind that specific, particular person. And uh, I said, oh, God, no, don't let that happen to me. I, I think I'd start <laughs> flipping tables. I was, I was I was pretty speaking. close when it happened. I felt that bad for the lady. But uh, uh, but luckily, she, I, I found it. it worked. It's coming. <laughs> so it was good. But overall, Jeff, I think well, it's good. Yeah. yeah, Jeff, I agree with you. But. David ended up with a sticker on his door, you know, so. Uh. Well, it's super fast to walk up and put a sticker on the door and walk away. Yeah. Because it's a product you have to sign for. So well, if you do it on enough true. doors, that gets you uh, back on your, uh, your schedule. But you know what? No, that's interesting. I didn't think about it. I did not sign for mine. Oh, now, really? I was, I was really? waiting at, I was waiting at the door because. I've I, I spent the day staring at my surveillance camera to make yeah. sure that what happened to David didn't happen to me because I've had that happen and it infuriates me. So it happened you know, while we were pa- podcasting. We just wrapped up the Mac show when when uh, when when they arrived. So I just it yeah. makes it worse. 
But the guy handed me my packages and said, you know, here, I said, thank you. And that was it. Mm -hmm. But I I did not, I did not sign for it. I I thought they had switched back to requiring the signatures again. I thought so too. I didn't have to sign either. The fact my door was open. They didn't switch back. (laughs) Hmm. I don't know. Um, First off, I want to welcome Kelly Gamont to the show. Kelly, good to have you. Hey. Thanks for being here. Um, David Webb in the chat rooms asked if you had to purchase a new case. Um, yes. It's not funny you asked that. I, um, I tried my, my old uh, 12 Pro Max case, and uh, this, of course, is the 13 Max case. The, the power button on the other case was just a smidge further down. So I was like, this is ridiculous. So Apple just made them made the power buttons just a smidge further down just because it's probably accommodating the camera. I don't know. But uh, yeah, the case fit perfectly otherwise, but you know, everything was slightly off. But I think it's the probably the the the, the most different of the way that they made this case and how it was off just a slight. I mean, uh, phones in the past, when we went from the 11 to the 12, it was drastic. I mean, there was, you know, they moved things around, but this was just, it was just very close. So, I mean, I guess I could have got away with using it, but I was like, nah, I don't, I don't want to. Dremel tool. Yeah, I could get a Dremel tool, yeah, if I, if I really wanted to do, to, to get creative, but. Um, who else got something new, new toy? I did. Andrew. So you- I. Uh- I have the iPhone 13 Pro. Um, I've been pretty happy with it so far. I haven't exhaustively tested it or anything. One of the features that I was looking forward to was the macro photography. Um, That's something that I've been interested in for a while. Um, It's it's using the ultra-wide camera, which I think is, I don't know anything about that, but that sounds impressive to me. one thing to keep in mind for people who do this is that I forget if there's like a um, specific term for this, but there's kind of a narrow plane of focus, which is common with a lot of these macro um, lenses, where you kind of have to really make sure you're kind of focusing it correctly because some things, you know, in the picture will be sharply in focus, the other ones will be not in focus as part of the, the, the bulk of background. And so it, it's, it's not horrible. It's just takes a lot of testing to make sure you get the right um, photo that you want. And also like David said, I was, I'm really liking this new fast, new promotion display. It makes it the, it makes uh, iOS feel really fast and snappy again. Any case, Andrew? Um, no. <laughs> okay. You don't do cases. Okay. Anybody, any other new iPhone people? Okay. Well, I will weigh in because I got mine. Um, I've, I'm with you guys. The screen is absolutely gorgeous. I shot some videos for work yesterday that are just, I mean, stunning. I'm sorry. That that's all the, all the way. The only thing I can say. Um, but one thing that really blew me away is now the new 3x zoom um, and playing with you know now the options you have it's it's that was always sort of a weak spot for me with the iPhones um, it, w- it wasn't anything I couldn't get over you know because most most of the time not always but most of the time you can use your feet and you know go closer if you want to um, but now I, I can honestly say that I think this will satisfy any zoom needs because unfortunately as as folks know if you do a long zoom you get a long zoom, your your handshake really starts to be noticeable. Mm-hmm. And in shooting with this, I found that whether it's whether it's the camera, whether it's I'm getting steadier or the computational photography part of it, but everything I shot just came out tack sharp. And I really, really was impressed by that. David, I too tried the um, you know, the uh, the, the the focus refer focus cinematic thing. That's um, and yeah, it's it's going to be interesting. Um, you know, I've for, for what I was shooting this time around, there really was no need for that or no real use. But you can start to easily see how somebody that wants to do something a little more advanced and just shoot maybe static videos uh, that that just adds a new depth and dimension to it. Sorry, there was a pun there that I didn't <laughs> intend. 
But and I, and I did the day I, and on Sunday. I was with a guy, and we went to the the, the train museum was nearby, and uh, it was a beautiful day, the, the bright sunshine, and and boy, I mean, I'm I'm just been zooming in on some of the shots I, I did it uh, I did, and you could zoom all the way down. I mean, just right down to the closest thing of the train that I took a picture of, and it's as clear as day. I mean, it's not. I mean, this this camera is is everything they advertised. It, it's just completely an incredible experience. Uh, the macro, like like uh, Andrew mentioned too, is it, it, I've I've done a bunch of macro uh, photos. It's like it's so cool. Like you said, it uses the wide the wide end lens. It just all of a sudden you know you're in macro mode when all of a sudden it goes and it switches right to the right to the uh, right to the camera. I mean, it, it's pretty amazing, I and mean, you never had that before on an iPhone. So. Uh, but now the camera, I, I definitely will will rave about that. Hmm. So that almost begs the question: uh, Are camera upgrades enough? You think to sell the new phones? And I, I take nothing away from the the the, uh, the screen or any of the other nice new enhancements. But I think the camera is the one thing we always look at and play with. And I, I mean, I would tell anybody that if if the camera is important to you. This is a pretty darn good upgrade. Maybe not a must have, but a pretty darn good upgrade. I would say it would depend on the the phone you've got now and what kind of cam what kind of camera that has because yeah. we've had a few evolutions lately of photography in of of iPhone specific photography first of all. So, um we got a uh, portrait mode, I think it was called where you could change like the natural light and the key light and all those things like live in camera. We got that with the 10, I think. That sounds um, right. <clears throat> I think that came with iPhone, with with iPhone 10 which also came with Face ID. So, if you have a if you have a Face ID phone, then you know you've got you've got a very very good camera because that was the first one and that camera was pretty great. Uh, I don't remember Jeff. You may remember the 10s because I think you had one. Um, I don't remember what if if there was a significant upgrade in in the 10s camera and then in the 11 and 11 Pro camera we got night mode and then in the 12 in the 12 we got um, more computational photography because the lidar features become part of that process and then in the 13 we got macro photography so depending on how important your camera is to you and the camera has been the primary upgrade i think the last four or five and i don't get one every year so the last four or five phones that i've gotten um the camera was the primary reason why and then on top of that oh hey i can bonk my phone on the thing and buy stuff that's kind of cool um but oh my god have you seen the camera like that was um that was something that happened all the that that i do all the time so um it might depend on what it is you like for photography um i am not eligible for a phone this year um because i got one last year so i have a 12 pro and i was super happy with my 11 pro until the second it became mr kelly's phone and my 12 pro showed up uh, I really, really, I, I took, like, I have a, a picture because uh, UPS blew me off on Friday and we uh, left on a trip. And so um, I went on a trip, like the weekend, my, I, my 12 pro came to town and I took a really, really amazing photo on that trip with my 11 pro that I really like. Um, it was a crater lake. I'll share a link with you guys later. And uh I think it it might depend on on what your level of photography is. So this year, instead of getting a new phone, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell people to email Chuck their suggestions for a good macro lens for the iPhone 12 so that I can take macro pictures and be very happy with the phone that I have since uh, my my budget does not allow for an iPhone 13 this year. So tell the people where to email you, Chuck. If you all would excuse me, I'm I'm busy setting up a redirect to my email to Kelly. <laughs> I don't need more mail. Mm. Like I know the two I know are Moment and Allo Clip. Allo Clip. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Those, those, um, those those are the two I'm gonna. I was gonna suggest. Didn't yeah. Allo Clip shut down like but at I, the beginning of the pandemic? Well, that was gonna be my question. I don't know mm. if either of them even make lenses for the twelve. Number one. Uh, the recommendation I had from a uh, friend of the show, Wally Trewinski, was one that uh, they didn't even make lenses for an 11. So 
Uh, mm. I'm out of luck on that one. So, Cause I was like, Oh, what was that one that he recommended to me? And the last one they have is like the, the tennis match. I think the 10 S max um, phone, I think is the last one that they made something for. So I don't, I can't get one of those. So um, yeah, so, but I'm on yeah. the lookout. Uh, I'll, I'll clip their website says they're on hiatus. Yeah. Aww. I didn't know that. Cool. That's the, I didn't either. That's interesting. That's interesting. Yeah, I'll clip I, if you I wish to come out of hiatus. I remember about that early in the pandemic. Yeah. It used to be in um, Huntington Beach right down the street from me. Yeah. When you, when you rejoin society, I'll clip. Uh, <laughs> send me a Kelly note because I would love to talk product. to you. I would love to talk to you about your triumphant return is basically what it comes down. I love all clip. They were, I remember them from Mac world's past and they were very lovely to me at those. So yeah. Um, yeah, I, I loved them. Yeah, I did too. I did too. Um, I will, I will put in a plug um, for moment um, okay. because the, the thing I love about moment is that yes, every phone you have to buy a new case, but the lenses stay the same. The lenses are the same. And that is, you know, I mean, that's where the money is. You know, that's, that's where you really are, have invested. Mm -hmm. um, and their, and their, their cases are pretty darn nice. You know, it's not like it's, it's one of those like, oh, I struggle with this. And, and you know, it's, I, I, I don't, it's a case I could carry every day. And Isn't there? That, oh, go ahead. Yeah. The, well, that's one I will be looking hard at when the, uh, the 13s come out. Um, you know, that, that, that will be a candidate for an everyday case. Because then if I have a need for one of those lenses, I can pop it on. Um, the website the does say they have iPhone 13 cases. Oh, they're available. Oh, oh, great. Okay. Well, thank you, you for spending money. my money, Jim. Yes. Thank you. Um, Kelly, thank I'm, you for I'm, joining I'm, us for Spend Chuck's money. The, yeah, the Kelly, Spend I'm, Chuck's money portion of the All right. Program. I'll yeah. go back on mute now. <laughs> yeah. and, and, and Kelly, uh, yes. moment. They huh? have drop in lens mount adapters for Apple cases. Oh, I don't have an Apple case. Whew. Okay. Well, looks like you're going to be buying an Apple case <laughs> to go along with your, your lens mount. If it's a moment, I want to say there's a there were another company or two that made cases that let you use a moment lens with them. I might be remembering really badly, but I feel like I feel like it's true. <laughs> I, That's good it, enough for me. Does does Nomad make a case that holds a moment lens? No, I don't remember, but somebody does because I remember looking at it and going, "Oh, that's interesting." Yeah. So, Kelly, I just threw into both both chat rooms uh, black eye lenses oh, uh, that okay. I've also had some some good luck with. Um, at least some of theirs are those like the uh, the clothespin that you can put on, but there is oh, a macro yeah, yeah. one there, and that might okay. be something that might be a more affordable option just to do that one. So, mm -hmm. okay. um, but yeah, I've got a set of those, and they those work very very well too. This Mac Voices panel will be back next time to talk more about their new iPhone experiences, start to talk about the new iPad mini experiences, and have a discussion about MagSafe. That's next time on Mac Voices, and I hope you'll join us. Until then, and as always, I'm Chuck Joyner. Thanks for watching. Visit macvoices.com for show notes and to connect with Chuck on social media. Get involved in our Facebook group or like our Facebook page, and get more out of your Apple tech with Mac Voices Magazine free on Flipboard and on the web. And if you find value in it all, consider supporting us through either our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash macvoices or by making a one-time donation via the PayPal link on our front page and in the show notes of each episode. You will join these fine people who help bring you Mac Voices. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com Bandwidth provided by CashFly at CashFly.com.